Hello YouTube. Here we have a shed that we're building. Uh, we don't live in a hurricane area, but we do live in Utah and we do get some high winds from time to time. Before I get the siding on, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what I'm doing for an anchoring. Here I'm using some fence post. I pound it in the ground. This was five feet tall and it looks like I've got about maybe three and a half feet in the ground. Paid three and a half dollars for it. I'm gonna use the grinder and I'm gonna cut it down and I'm gonna go ahead and anchor, bolt this thing to the uh, floor, the foundation of this, this shed. Okay, so I went ahead and I used a grinder, a cutting disc. I've cut it down to the size where I want it. I notched out this one side here, as you can see, it's kind of flattened out. Is what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill two holes in here to put the lag screws in to kind of hold this and fasten this down in place. I'm burning it up already. I'm going to go ahead and stop the video right here for this first part of two videos. I will show you in part two the finished product and how it turned out. Not the best video, but I think you guys get the idea. I had to stop the video here because this is about as far as I got that day. Uh, as you might be able to tell, I needed some cutting oil, which I forgot to bring with me. So I had to go back another day and I finished up the job with some cutting oil. Uh, as you can see right here, these are the lag screws. It starts a little out of focus, but those are the lag screws, the half inch lag screws that I used to bolt my anchor to the shed to prevent it from uh, moving. As you may already know, there are lots of other products out there that you can buy as kits uh, for anchoring, like I'm doing here, sheds, fifth wheels, trailers, whatever. Um, unfortunately, those are a lot more expensive, and, I, and in, in my opinion, they're not going to hold, they're not going to be as strong as what I've done here. I don't know if you've ever used a fence post like this before where you've pounded in the ground and then try to pull out uh, later on down the road. It's, it's almost next to impossible. These are really hard to get out. Uh, the friction, it's wedged in there really good into the ground, and in my opinion, this is just going to be a much better, stronger anchoring system and hey it's even lesser expensive too so anyway please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel thank you so much